Good evening, teachers. A very warm welcome. We welcome you in today's Guru Shala Spotlight. A very warm welcome. And uh, today, teachers will be talking about role play, uh, an approach to teaching and learning. This is a spotlight hosted for Badradri teachers. And a very warm welcome once again, teachers. So uh, before we move ahead in the session, uh, let's move ahead and uh, talk about Guru Shala a little bit. Guru Shala is an initiative of Indus Towers Limited. Vodafone Idea Foundation. Our content partner is Jigyasa, and this it is being implemented by Pratham Education Foundation. Uh, some things are to be kept in mind before we move ahead in the session, and those things are: the first thing is that you have to sign up on Guru Shala for regular updates on training and for workshops, trainings, and other competitions, and you have. To make points of uh, notes of all the important things that you see in the uh, during the session. If you want to share some ideas, if you if you if an uh, idea comes up in your mind, you have to share that, and you want to share that with us. You can share it in the chat section. If not, you can make a point of that. And also, if you have any questions or queries with us, you can share it in Hindi, English, or whatever language you're comfortable in the chat section. Uh, and let's proceed ahead uh, and. If you have not yet downloaded the Guru Shala app, we request you to download the Guru Shala app. So for the downloading the Guru Shala app, you will find the application in our Google Play Store and also in the description of the chat. All right. So uh, in the towards the end of this session, we will be sharing an attendance form with you, which will be a certificate of participation. Also, you have to to uh, to collect that to get that uh, certificate. You have to submit a Google form, which will be sharing you. You have to come uh, put uh, put your all correct details, uh, your name especially, so that you receive a correct uh, certificate of participation in your email ID. So before we move ahead uh, and we begin with our session, there are a few things that Guru Shala offers. I'll quickly uh, tell you about the uh, uh, Guru Shala platform a little bit. So as you can see on your screen, Guru Shala is a one-stop platform for teachers and students of India. We have uh, so in uh, on Guru Shala, you can access to resources that are curriculum aligned, and also we have pre-created lesson plans and interactive quizzes as well for you, which you can use for your classrooms. Then we also recognize and incentivize the teachers. So we have a section called competitions, and uh, and if you participate in our uh, uh, competitions, we uh, reward our teachers, we incentivize them, we give gifts and reward rewards to them. And also, uh, there is a reward point system. If you create, if you complete a course module or course, you always get a reward point. And also, uh, there is uh, at Guru Shala, you can also uh, network uh, with other teachers. You can always collaborate with them and ask questions. There is a specific section called staff room where you can do that. And also, we also conduct non-academic sessions, competitions for teachers and students both. And then there is a support for subject teachers for. Uh, support by subject teachers uh, for students they can uh, attend our remedial classes on gurushala academy next is gurushala which is an important uh, point that we do which is a capacity building so we focus on capacity building of our teachers we focus on uh, giving them trainings expert sessions like this one and also a self paced courses section that is available for you all so if you have any queries regarding gurushala and its offerings do let us know in the chat section so that i can address them now let's move ahead uh, and uh, welcome our guest for the today. We have a uh, few uh, experts with us. I would like to invite them on board with us. So we have Neeta Shetty ma'am and Dr. Vijaya Bondre. Uh, I would like uh, both of you to introduce, introduce yourself one by one. OK. Hello. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes. Uh, myself, Neeta Shete. I'm from Maharashtra, Pune. I work in Jai Shikshan Samstas, Nageshwar Vidyalay Patas. And I'm since reaching last 20 years and doing my PhD also. I'm interested in doing new things with students because updation of knowledge and doing new things, this enhances our teaching process. So I believe on this to explore new things and come, with, come up with the students and they get interested in teaching learning process. So that's all. Thank you. Uh, good evening, all of you. 
ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿಜಯ ಬುಂದ್ರೆ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮಹಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಅ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ನೋವೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಇನ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು now let's move ahead uh, in the session uh, and teachers this is one of the expert sessions that we conduct this is called spotlight session where we invite uh, active teachers or one of our best teachers to speak on a, a theme and for today we have a theme called role play a uh, approach that, an approach that we can use for teaching and learning for your classrooms that you can use in your classrooms so we have some questions that we will be asking our teachers and expert teachers if you have any uh, questions that you would like to ask us we you can uh, type it in the comment comment sections and let us know so uh, we have the first question as we can see on our screen is let's discuss some approaches uh, to teaching in classrooms you can share one or some of the methods that you can use or an approach that you have used in your classroom so uh, to give you a brief uh, background about this uh, before you answer this question ma'am uh, we earlier we would just involve you know indulge in a traditional uh, traditional method of teaching a lecture method so is there any approach or new way that you have used or method that you have been using in your classroom that you would like to share here actually there are various methods of teaching and learning process there are various approaches because of the nepa new education policy is there and they want each and everything together so blended learning approach is there and traditional approach teacher centered approach is there student center approach is there then gamification is there we use this various types of games for uh, students while teaching then role play method is there also we also use we use translation methods and uh, these methods are we use not a proper way we get combination of these methods while teaching in the class but some methods we have to use that uh, suppose i am going to use differentiation method in the class i use various uh, types of uh, videos various types of verbal activities with students when i am going to use a differentiation method in the class and for the uh, blended learning i use constructivism and then also a student centered activity various types of activities i conducted in my class so i use this always mix various approaches and method while teaching in the class because there are various ki- kinds of students in the class they are from the, the uh, lower range to higher range uh, quality types of students are there and we can't use specific method for that students because the strength of our class also matters when we are going to use this different types of approaches and method in the class uh in the, in my teaching i use the different uh, par- most probably the participation of the student is uh, more uh, important uh, because they un- they understood the learning process easily easily when they uh, uh, participate in in the process learning process and the questioning method and the different type of the experiment i take uh, with uh, with the help of student and they can easily understood the concept any difficult concept they can in, uh, easily understood and role play uh, the role play is also taken by me all right uh, so now let's move ahead uh, and discuss the second question that we have uh, what do you understand like what is the role play method when we talk about role play what are we saying what are we actually doing in the classroom and uh, what kind of approach is it actually role play method is very beneficial for students for developing their communication skill while teaching language it is a best method because if we, uh, we want active participation from the students now then we have to use this method because on the spot we ask students to do that role use their own dialogues and uh, when we want a planned one role play there that is very beneficial for them but on the spot when we ask them to play the role of uh, suppose they are going to visit the market and they have to play the sellers grocer sellers role then what kinds of dialogue he is sharing there uh, or suppose we are uh, talking about various types of uh, writers for example shakespeare is there 
and other marathi writers is there then how they can communicate with them for taking interviews or taking other social issues they are, they are getting familiar with that kinds of social issues and they are very fluent when they are going to speak with other people so role play method is a two way method they uh, enhances the knowledge of student also and the active participation of students we get while using this role play method in the class this is also beneficial for maths for science and uh, other languages also history we use this various types of role role play in marathi language in english or in hindi language we ask them to dramatize uh, the session for example for sixth standard student uh, there is a english lesson invisible bench so student act there is no benches no chairs they act they only talk and they are sitting they are standing these types of activities are done by them so side by side they are doing the activities they are involving in the communication and they are get familiar with each other because so many students are there in the class and then don't know the abilities of other students also so they get familiar with each other then there is a communication in between them they know their strengths and they know their weaknesses in which type of communication they are very big uh, the various words are introduced to them they uses their vocabulary and for this role play method is very useful and it is a very distinct approach to learning also that's from my side ma'am correct uh, so from yes. vijay ma'am if you could tell us what is role play method if you could just uh, put yes. a shed a light on it yes role play exercise gives student the opportunity to assume the role particular of a person or a act out a given situation manje with the help of situation they can understood or assume their role if suppose we uh, take uh, any example related to uh, our uh, that the related to our science that the if suppose photosynthesis and we want to discuss about the photosynthesis we can uh, uh, the, we can take a different type of student and uh, told them about the uh, uh, one student that uh, he uh, he supposed play a role of plant other student play a role of carbon dioxide one student play a water and one another student play uh, another role and with the help of this uh, uh, in the group we can discuss about the how the photosynthesis process occur in the plant and student really enjoy all this process and they can easily understood the concept with the help of this role play and so that the role uh, role play is very much beneficial to the student for understanding the any difficult or which uh, the concept are very much difficult to understand with the, uh, with the level of that student so role play uh, is a new method but it is very much important uh, as a teaching uh, and the learning process definitely uh, like you said ma'am uh, neeta ma'am also mentioned that uh, it makes you know it makes students uh, understand ki kitna it's so important uh, for them to communicate and you know understand the uh, you know their classmates it helps to it helps them in understanding and getting to know the better yeah so one yeah. more thing i would like to add that it it really prepares them for the uh, you know a different situations they're going to face in their uh, you know maybe outside the classrooms so it yes, it, it prepares yes yeah. yes so yes it is, huh. it, is, uh, yes. it is preparing huh. them for their social views they are, it is helpful right. for yes. their own views yes yes yeah. they think huh. about it yeah so it is huh. very important because they have to uh, told others that what they are doing what they are thinking about the activity why they play this role so they have to uh, give the options uh, they are presenting themselves in front of others so the phobia of uh, stage is yeah. they are not when they are actually yes. facing the yeah interviews. that's the one thing i think yeah. students face a lot huh. that they hesitate yes, to yes. do a lot of things so this is yes. a perfect activity And, uh, for them yes ma'am and the role play is very much of a flexible to the uh, teaching approach madam and yeah. with the help of uh, it requires no special tools or any type of technology means we yeah. can uh, itself develop in the classroom yeah and uh, yeah and the student could work through a role play exercise just as if uh, effectively in a teaching hall or in a seminar uh, seminar room So yes, means and, and there is no any yes there is no any type of environment we need so yeah. suppose we conduct any type of experiment we need a different type of the yes yes right 
मैडम स्टूडेंट सेंटर्ड approach yes like yes, ma'am yes ma'am i also want yes. to also talk about there i yeah. also add one more point uh, while uh, students are performing their roles now we can record the videos and later on show them yes that is very hmm. beneficial for the students that how they speak how they look how they activate in the class and next time where when they are going to participate in this way now there is a lot of change in their behavior that they have to speak like this way uh, their pronunciation is not good they have to improve this but we have we doesn't uh, does not need to say them anything they can understand while watching themselves if we record the video and again play with them yeah yes because it's sort of a feedback for them that how they yes. performed and yes. next time yes next time they have to make sure that you know these kind of some mistakes they they would consciously do that because yes. they have seen they'll be conscious ki that okay i did something like that and i won't be doing this later on yes. sort of a feedback okay so now yes. let's uh, move ahead and uh, go ahead to our another question which is what is the importance or significance of role play in education like we discussed a few points uh, that you know it helps students communicate better or prepare them for different scenarios if how is it important in education if we could talk about that and why should a teacher use this approach actually when teacher wants to be familiar with the class now uh, if a teacher is playing the uh, role of uh, role of his specific role if he doesn't want a teacher center class he want a student center class then he have to use this approach and this approach uh, more facilitates constructivism that means student have to make their own sentences they have to behave like uh, they have to choose that role why they cho- choosing that role if he is playing the role of doctor then he so he then he saw that how he behaves how he talk with others he uses that kinds of things and that we doesn't uh, need to teach them that is very important aspect when we are uh, doing when we are facilitating a daily situations when we are facing the situations then how he behaves what's his uh, uh, reply to that situation that uh, significance uh, that provides the significance of that students and we are preparing our students for their life because that is not for their uh, education purpose not for their we are making them uh, homo sapiens to a very good personality so that is important for students uh, a student centered approach one of the student centered approach and for this we are using this role play method and this role play uh, is very useful for students while when they are uh, going to this uh, society how they communicate they use different languages various people are there how they talk how they behave they can observe carefully and then they act in the class like that way so this is the uh, one of the method they doesn't know when they go to the market they, are, they see the people they are uh, they are doing some things they are buy things then go to the home and do some things with that when we ask them uh, play the role of your mother or your father they act like that way so they are just observing and this uh, role play method signifies their observation keen observation is there it needed for that uh, method and it is very useful for teachers we want to prepare our next generation and when we are giving them uh, lots of opportunities like this then it is very beneficial yes uh, and also one more thing is that the student feel that they are the real participants of the situation yes yes ma'am yes ha huh. and uh, they are uh, yeah, and in the specific situation how uh, to handle that particular situation they can understood with the help of role play yes yes ma'am yes uh, so i would like to request the audience if they would like to let us know in the comment section that what why do you think uh, uh, a teacher you know why why should a teacher use this method if you could just let us know in the comment section i have, i see so many teachers commenting uh so if you would like to share your insights with us um ranga rao sir hai uh, virana bhukia and if any other teacher ram naik bhukia if they would like to share anything we would really like to address that in the uh, live session right now 
all right so let's move ahead and go to our next question that uh, have you used the role play approach in the past in your classrooms and if you have used it you can share your experience and if you have not then why not i always use role play approach in my class because i am a language teacher and also a math teacher while teaching the languages it is very important <laughs> to communicate with students i use this and when our there uh, there is a gathering so gathering is there so cultural activities are there and for that uh, we have to make them familiarize with the drama then we get these students they are speaking well yes they are taking participant in this activity so we find out this student very easily that so that is one, one more benefit uh, benefit for me and uh, i use this method for one more reason student can familiarize with various types of situation there is increase in their vocabulary they act and they faces various kinds of situations very confidently there is some kind of instincts in that students you can uh, find there the students are very confident they can easily answer they can easily communicates with other people though they are stranger they are if they are uh, asking you some questions queries they can very confidently approach them and answer them so this is a very important method from uh, my point of view uh, when i am conducting such a type of drama is there no one student is not ready to play that role he says ma'am i am not going to play the role of mother because other students are teasing me after that they are calling me oh you are our mother so he is not ready to, to play the role of mother or Um, this is ask, one of the disadvantage i would say <laughs> yeah, disadvantage is there because if he is doing better now uh, then they say after our class is over there there is a lot of teasing in the class oh you are mother you are doing that way these things are happening in the class so i think neglect that thing but when you want to be successful uh, see the uh, i give him a uh, example of various actors they are playing the role of uh, that kind of things they are uh, playing the role of female so look at them consider them take as take it as a challenge and then he accepted and become ready to play that role definitely this is actually a good example uh, so it helps them in understanding the gender issues as well yeah yeah gender issues yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh vijay mm -hmm. ma'am would you like to add something uh, uh yes madam if suppose uh... Uh, we want to discuss about the difference between the plants and animals they can easily uh, take a role of plants and said that i am a i am a green in color um, i am a producer uh, i have a lots of branches and the fruit and so they can uh, and fifth uh, and sixth standard student easily understood the parts of the plants that the root stem leaves and the flowers and a seed also and with the help of they can uh, differentiate between the plants and animals and if suppose student my student play a role of animal and uh, they differentiate between the different type of the animals also like the you know, uh, herbivores animals carnivores or animals omnivores are there and with the yeah. help of these we can uh, another concept is also there one is the food chain and with the help of food chain yes. we can uh, take another point that the food web and with the help of uh, that the uh, animal that the domestic animal and the wild animal so with the help of role play we can uh, Uh, teach lots of things and with very easy method so role play is uh, very much important yes. uh, in uh, actually, teaching and learning process yeah it actually break down the break down the complex uh, subject i would say for example yes. uh, global warming to make it easier for students to understand we can you know understand uh, the globe yeah so yes. to understand maybe environment issues to understand make make yes. them understand it better uh, if uh, yes if suppose ozone uh, little student means the fifth and sixth uh, sixth standard student doesn't know about the what is the ozone layer and if suppose yeah. we told them that the umbrella uh, that umbrella protect uh, ourselves with the help of uh, in the sun uh, in the summer season and in the winter season like that the ozone layer is also one of the protective layer which protect uh, ourselves or the all the living organism which are present on the earth and uh, that uh, ozone layer uh, is a uh, if suppose anybody uh, anybody plays any student play the role of ozone layer layer with the help of that student play a very much uh, important role as a role play 
and they understood the difficult concept like the ozone layer and the global warming also and it is one more yes. uh, type of importance is there we can't give them practice as we when we take the dramatization of the students we make them practice and then they are uh, yes directly ha uh, but uh, yes. here students have to present it directly we can't give them any type of practice so uh, the yes. natural instinct of students come out of there how they are so that is very important and we can present them situation in many fragments we can fragmented the situation and then student can behave yes. and they can just, mm -hmm. uh, take them as a real teachers or real students and behave yes. naturally whatever they are doing they are doing naturally so this is yes. very uh, yes. natural method uh, that we are using in the yes. class means it is a difference between the drama and the role play in the yeah. drama there is lots of practice but in the role play you have to play at the same time means there is no any type of the practice is there very yes. well uh, you know ex this this topic was very well explained by both of you and this uh, you know a thin line that we have between a play or a drama or a, you know role play uh, that was also catered right now so uh, i would like to ask the audience if they have any insights uh, for us about the role play method do let us know if you teach any subject if you for say that if you teach a history have you conducted any skits or you know role play method for your classrooms for students to make it understand easier the whole you know mythology or the historical uh, the events that have taken place so do let us know in the comments um now let's move ahead to the next question uh, which is um yeah i'll just put my okay so how does the role play approach aid to the students learning so uh, this has been catered uh, you know uh, a lot of times uh, so if you in any one of you if you could just uh, tell us yeah yes actually the role play approach is the student center approach they have to do whatever things they have to present in front at a uh, distinct time when we ask them student uh, teacher is not there teacher's role is only to observe and student are wholly involved in that type of role suppose if we present them any situation any business situation is there or any uh, doctor situation is there they are negotiating this situation suppose we ask them we are going to a kerala there is a tourism and how you what kind of your role is there when you are going to uh, kerala and what you are doing there then student represent them they are playing discussing the role who is uh, taking the role of guide who is going to visit the various places they ask various uh, situations so they can collect information about kerala what kinds of scenarios are there they are going to see so student who is going to play the role of uh, guide he is giving the information about them so teacher have to only see and watch what their students are doing if they are not doing he is just pushing them just guiding them is playing the role of role as a guide but side by guide so this yes. method is basically teacher is a, a monitoring person who is yes, making yes, sure yes. that the learning is happening but mm. the initiative is of student students yes they have to take the proper yes. initiative and feedback is also important by the teacher and the peer team also yeah yes. so uh, i would like to add that the feedback that we get is very immediate if we know a student yes. is doing something learning something you know which is not uh, at all the part of it we can tell them no no that's that's not a uh, part of it or you know this is wrong or right we can always tell them immediately and they will themselves get to know about that yes. and next uh, is that they develop a feeling of empathy or sympathy as well yes and uh, yes. It helps in yeah. the feedback i want to uh, mention one point there i always give them positive feedback and yes. negative things i told them in positive way you can do it better yes. but next time you can do your best to perform this role so he can uh, see that yeah ma'am say me better but i have to do the best so yes. uh, this this is the boosting the students and also encourage them to take uh, participate in this activity they are not demoralized that i am not going to do that role i am afraid this kinds of hesitation is not there you can can't yeah i would it. like to also add one thing uh, a lot of time we say some students are uh, you know not doing good or an average students let's not use yeah. these kind of words and address them address them with the terms called maybe a slow learner or an early learner because yeah. if we you know sometimes use these kind of words like you yourself said negative 
फीडबैक नहीं देना है वी डोंट हैव टू गिव द नेगेटिव फीडबैक सो इट्स इट्स अप टू अस हाउ वी यू नो प्रेज द चाइल्ड एंड मेक श्योर दैट द जर्नी ऑफ द चाइल्ड टूवर्ड्स हिज हिज और हर लर्निंग इज इज इट स्मूथ और हाउ हार्ड इट इज सो इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी एप्रिशिएट देम इन एवरी वे एंड इफ वी थिंक वी हैव अ फीडबैक for them we can know separately or provide them you know a space which is very you know a uh, uh, safe space in a safe space we can provide them yeah yes vijay ma'am would you like to add something uh, uh, first of all fix uh, fixing a theme uh, while learning fixing a theme and uh, deciding on the types of role means which uh, uh, role play by the student while learning yeah and with so the help of the, uh, that this i would like to interrupt you so since this is covering the last question we will skip to that directly uh, so this Achha. is the steps uh, that we are talking about Achha, so okay um, yes ma'am so let's let's talk about yes. these steps we can obviously uh, talk about them so now we will be talking about the steps that we can yes, uh, you know use to implement in the classroom some things that we need to keep in mind while we are you know uh, yes. doing this role play method in the classroom yes ma'am hmm. uh Actually, first of all oh, yes. uh, while ha huh, yes uh, step in uh, role play first of all fixing a theme means which theme we uh, we have to consider in a particular uh, classroom then deciding on the types of role and then student alone uh, participate itself in the role play or the group of students are there and how um, means how means the duration of that role play is or either the short duration or the long duration and later on the num developing the conversation between the uh, that role play means that the dialogue writing is there means uh, how they uh, dialogues in a particular role play and later on the evaluation and the feedback feedback by the teacher and student also or any type of the peer team is there yes yes, yes ma'am actually uh, while i am from maharashtra from pune marathi language is there when i have to convert my classroom in english language class as english language classroom it find it's more difficult for me so role play is the best way to convert my marathi class in english classroom but that's why i decide first the topic which topic we are going to take for today's role play that means we are taking the situations granted there now who are going to play the roles that we have to assign them the roles then we have to give them 2 minutes or 3 minutes time for preparation what kinds of dialogues they are presenting then we have to fix the audience <laughs> who is the audience they are performing their role play method who are observing them then they have to give the feedback what kinds of uh, strategies they want and one more thing that they have to do it on the spot so uh, this environment this teaching environment uh, provides students of uh, they are facing that means they are we are preparing to st- uh, students for handle any kind of situation so this is one more important thing uh, vijay ma'am told all the steps of role playing uh, so yes i i want to add this ah. one more thing that this is a comprehensive method we have to use in the class because we can't need any tools we doesn't have to need prepare any board or anything they are just guessing that means their simulation is there some kind of simulation they are taking things granted that here is a hospital then there is a hospital there is no need of board also that, that doesn't make any sign they are yeah they are going to hospital now see what happened there so doctor is there he is coming with a stethoscope no original stethos- stethoscope is with him but they are talking they are just doing things so that is very important we are preparing for the student for their lifelong uh, situations they have to face after all because education education is the best of their uh, learning and they have to apply this learning in their daily activities they are preparing themselves they are so we have to build personality of students and this method is very helpful for making the personality development for the student that is a good point that i capture from this role play method so i use this always in my class my class is always grooming all here and there they are asking me various types of question ma'am we are doing these things ma'am i they are come up with situations sometimes ma'am can we take this situation yes. let us go the part is yours you have to play anything i am just guiding you if there is not a correct uh, 
pronunciation or any construction is there i just help them do speak like this way or when and sometimes when it is needed i can record it this video yeah it's wonderful when they are doing good and encourages them also and send this video on whatsapp group to see the parents what the teacher what the students are doing in the class so it is very motivated for my students also and they actively uh, participate yes. yeah one one more thing is there that the encouragement of the students and uh, if suppose uh, they facing uh, any problem then the open discussion is also there uh, to uncover all the uh, relevant issues yeah uh, yes ma'am so uh, i would like to add few things uh, it helps in uh, you know developing few skills also like uh, both of you were sharing your experience so it came to my mind like student get to get we get to know how creative students are how yes. rationally they are you know um, uh, in analyzing a situation we get to know that as well so you know we we can pick up on such things and maybe you know uh, and then you know segment them into different groups and yeah like few skills can be learned from this these kind of uh, approaches as well yes ma'am all right so this was it uh, these are the questions that we had for today uh, so thank you so much and i would like to request an audience if you have any question for our experts uh, if you would like to ask them anything about an approach or a role play method or an approach that helps you know, or aids in in the teaching and learning process in the classroom do let us know in the comments uh, um, and we will try to address it as much as we can and teachers if you would like to add on any other uh, pointers if you would like to add uh i just want to add one more point all yes, the students yes. are not interested in role play methods also so that is one of the disadvantage because yeah. there are some hesitation is there they are not interested so uh, that is one more uh, drawback of this uh, method because mm -hmm. they are afraid and they are not communicating well with each other they are interested only in watching what the others are yeah. doing so uh, when applying this method in the class now involve all the students there because mm. other students mm. are not involving in the lectures only few of the students are there so i when i applying this method now i always try to give the chance to each student from my class that you are never come up in on the stage just come here now you have to do this so uh, it uh, depends upon the teacher how he involving his uh, students in this method because uh, students interest is uh, depending upon their uh, environment so this is one one of the disadvantage of this method yes yeah. no no that's a actually an important point not all like to do it and that's why i would recommend that teacher teach and care, teachers can as a mentor they can create the groups maybe you know or uh, maybe uh, you know if they are doing conducting a role play method we can divide them into groups and teachers uh, can you know decide this or do this uh, short homework that they already create the teams and accordingly yes. you know a, 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 you know balance can be maintained uh, between both the teams yeah. there slow and early learners are both uh, divided into the yes. teams that that's why a burden does not come huh. on one team yes ma'am yes. really madam some students are very much shy and so they cannot yeah. participate in all the role play or any type of the activity and they are the uh, always uh, <laughs> yes so they are would, only the i would like to add one students are only backstage a lot of students are shy yes. <laughs> so, so can we do one thing can we see a lot of students are shy can we involve them another act like role play method is all not about yes, all yes. acts it also involves hmm. the script writing the, part right so can in the play in the play yeah. some play games uh, also with the help uh, of I games can they can participate yeah yeah we yeah. can take compositions then oral puzzles wagere students yes yeah. ma'am puzzles for them puzzles mm -hmm. we can with the help them. of puzzles hmm. Mm -hmm. yes all right uh, small um, games are there ha huh. yes yes definitely there are a lot of games that we can uh, uh, you know in include in the uh, role play method as well it's actually up to the educator how they would like to you know conduct the role play method in the classroom and also the availability of students yes. and their participation is must in this method that is 
the reason it will work otherwise if the student you know does not participate this this method can be a, a you know does not lead to very much impacts yeah it doesn't have yes. much value to it then hmm. all right all right so thank you so much teachers uh, and towards the end i would like to remind the teachers we are going to share an attendance form with you you have to fill up the attendance form uh, we'll share it in the chat section and also it, it's uh, mentioned in the description box also you have to just fill fill the attendance form with your correct details and share it with us and you'll receive a certificate of participation in the email uh, on your email and again once again if you have not downloaded the gurushala app you can definitely do it and the link is also available in the description and we'll share it in the chat section as well so thank you so much for joining us uh, i would like to sincerely thank nitashita ma'am and also vijaya ma'am for sharing such thank wonderful you. insights with us thank for having a, an amazing session with us uh, i'm sure this will be instrumental for our teachers and they have learned a lot i personally learned learned a lot about the role play method so thank you thank so much Our pleasure, yes. ma'am. Thank you, thank you very much, madam. Yes. Yes, ma'am. And do let yes. us know if Hi. you would like to uh, have a session on any other theme. You can let us know in the comment section which what theme suits yes, you or you would like to know more about, okay. and we will try to have a uh, session around that. So thank you so much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day.